Hi everyone, welcome to my channel Microbiology with Sumi. If you like my video, please like, share and subscribe to my channel. Today's topic is types of disinfectants. So let's start with it. Let's start with disinfection. As we all know, disinfection process is a process of killing microorganisms. Now in disinfection process, a chemical substance is used and this chemical substance is called as a disinfectant. Now disinfectant is applied on the surface of living and non-living things to kill microorganisms. Now in process of disinfection, all microorganisms get killed except some resistant fungal spores and this disinfection process is less effective as compared to sterilization but in our day to day life disinfection process is very helpful so let's study disinfection and various disinfectants used now uses of disinfectant disinfectants are used on large scale and they are applied in various fields so let's see them one by one disinfectant can be used in kitchens it can be used in bathrooms as bathroom cleaners it can be used on floors as floor cleaner it can be used as hand wash it can be also used in different industries like food industry dairy industry bravery industry pharmaceutical industry it is also used in hospitals as well as biological laboratories let's see some important properties of disinfectant it should be non corrosive inexpensive and effective secondly it should be broad spectrum and should not cause deterioration of the object to which it is applied that is the disinfectant should kill broad range of microorganisms without causing any harm to the surface of living and non-living things to which it is applied it should not be harmful to human beings and animals further it should have a pleasant odor definitely if a disinfectant has a pleasant odor then only people are going to use it so this is also a important point further it must be soluble in water and safe for regular use so normally when we use a disinfectant we generally first of all dilute it with water so it should be soluble in water and secondly it should be safe for our regular use it should not cause any kind of pollution when disposed in the environment so it should be safe types of disinfectant there are four types of disinfectant first one is air disinfectant alcohol phenol and oxidizing agent so let's see them one by one now let's see types of disinfectants in detail the first one is air disinfectant now air disinfectant is used to kill microorganisms that are suspended in air disinfection in hospitals especially in operation theaters is very important now there are some areas in hospitals such as operation theaters icus now these areas have maximum number of microorganisms and these microorganisms may be pathogenic in nature so it is very important to disinfect such areas now air disinfectant is used in aerosol form chemicals used here should be safe definitely these chemicals used should be safe because they are going to be inhaled by human beings so it is very important that they should be safe now the examples are propylene glycol and triethyl glycol the next one is alcohols now alcohol is used as a surface disinfectant here ethanol and isopropanol is used now alcohol has a property of inflammable now means it can catch fire easily but it also has a important property that is it evaporates quickly so it, we can use alcohols as surface disinfectant now high concentration of ethanol and isopropanol can inhibit lipid envelope viruses further 
Here, 70% of alcohol is diluted with distilled water and used to inhibit wide range of microorganisms. Efficiency of alcohol is increased when it is used with dodecanoic acid. Now, this mixture can inhibit wide range of broad spectrum bacteria, viruses and fungal cells. Now, the third one is phenols. Now, phenolic solutions are used as a household disinfectant and antiseptics. It is used in the form of floor cleaners, mouthwash, surface cleaners and soap disinfectant. Further, phenolic solutions are corrosive in nature and can cause skin allergies on sensitive skin. So, it should be handled with care. It should be kept away from children. The examples of some phenolic substances are thymol. It is used as a broad spectrum disinfectant. Chloraxinol. It is used as an antiseptic as well as disinfectant. Amyl metacerol. It is used in tablet form for throat disinfection. Now, these solutions are available in the concentrated form. So, first of all, they should be diluted with distilled water or uh, simply purified water and then they should be or normal water you can use normal water also and then they can be used now the next one is oxidizing agent oxidizing agent causes oxidation of cell membrane of microorganism and cause lysis of cell now the examples of oxidizing agent are chloramines it is used in drinking water treatment chlorine dioxide it is used in disinfection of water by killing bacteria that are responsible for waterborne diseases. Now, the next one is hydrogen peroxide. It is used for disinfection of a living tissue as well as hydrogen peroxide vapors are useful in disinfection of a room. These vapors have some toxic effects to eyes and respiratory system. So, a special care should be taken during the application now hydrogen peroxide it is used for disinfection of living tissue as well as its vapors are used for disinfection of a room and the important thing is it consists some toxic effects on our eyes and respiratory system so it's so it should be handled with care and the next one is sodium hypochlorite it is used as a bleach it is a common household disinfectant used for clean cleaning toilets wash basins and other surfaces so this was all about disinfectants if you like my video please like share and subscribe to my channel and thank you for my for watching my video